An important thing to consider is how to reduce the error in the finite element solution. To be able to understand that, let's go back to a slide that I showed earlier. And I talked about how one can go from a boundary value problem to a system of algebraic equations in nodal temperatures using the piecewise polynomial approximation for the temperature. So this is our assumed shape. In our case, we assumed it as you know, as a combination of linear polynomials. And in the process of going from the differential equation to the algebraic equations, we introduce an error called the discretization error. And we can reduce the discretization error by improving our piecewise polynomial approximation. So how do we improve the polynomial approximation? There are two ways to do this. First is to increase the number of elements. And this, is, this I think, is intuitive. In our original mesh, we had three elements. And then you know, we can generate a refined mesh where we have six elements. In our original mesh, we had, you know, so we assume the shape is a combination of three linear polynomials. Now we are assuming that it's a combination of six linear polynomials, and that's better. Um, the other way to improve the polynomial approximation is perhaps uh, less apparent, which is to increase the order of the polynomial within each element. And you do that by using more nodes per element. Here I've shown um, a mesh with two second order elements. Okay, so this is this would be the first element, and that would be the second element. And each element has three nodes. Okay, one, two, three, as opposed to here, where each element has only two nodes. And when I have three nodes, I can write a quadratic approximation or a quadratic interpolation between these three values, as opposed to here, where I can only write a linear approximation you know, connecting two values. And we'll see the effect of going to the second order polynomial. So here are the results I got um, with refining the mesh or, and also increasing the, you know, or increasing the order of the polynomial. This was our original solution with three elements, linear elements. This is the solution with six linear elements, okay? And you can see that it's better than with three linear elements. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six linear polynomial segments. And particularly, you can see that the, the derivative here, or the slope, matches better than over here. And we know that derivative is very important because related to the flux. And then I'm also showing you the result with a second order polynomial with just one element, okay? So this is one element with three nodes. And I have a quadratic you know, shape um, in between in that element. And this is a special case where the assumed shape matches the, the actual shape exactly. And if that's the case, the finite element will boom, it'll match it, you know, it'll, it'll give you the right values. And here, you know, with one element, there's no difference between the exact solution and the, the finite element solution when you go to the second order um, interpolation. In general, the second order interpolation is, you know, is very effective. And here, you know, it's pro probably not as dramatic as over here, um, but it's, it's, uh, it's very effective. And when we go into answers, we will see that, you know, in almost all cases, the solver puts in the mid-side nodes and uses a second-order polynomial rather than a first-order polynomial. So then, you know, if that's the case, uh, what we need to do to get a better polynomial approximation is to use more, more elements. But we'll go in and, and check, you know, the order of the polynomial in one of the, the first cases. In fact, you will have uh, an an exercise where you are, you know, you're looking at doing the solution and answers using linear polynomials versus uh, quadratic polynomials.